Carl, there is a dead human in our house. Oh, hey. How did he get here? Carl, what did you do? Me? I, I, I didn't do this. Explain what happened, Carl. I've never seen him before in my life. Why did you kill this person, Carl? I do not kill people. That is that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell me, Carl, exactly what you were doing before I got home. All right, well, I, I was upstairs. Okay. I was uh, I was sitting in my room. Yes. Reading a book. Go on. And, uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. So I went up to him. Yes. And I, uh, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Carl, that kills people. Oh, oh, Carl. wow, I, I, I didn't know that. How could you not know that? Yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. What happened to his hands? What's that? His hands. Why, why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of uh, cooked them up and ate them. Carl. Well, I, uh, I was hungry, and well, you know, when, when you crave hands, that's. Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl. My stomach was making the rumblies Carl. that only hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I, I kill people and I eat hands. That's that's two things. Uh, Carl, what on earth was all that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You sunk an entire cruise ship, Carl. Are you sure that was me? I, I would think I would remember something like that. Carl, I watched you fire a harpoon into the captain's face. That sounds dangerous. You were headbutting children off the side of the ship. That uh, that must have been horrifying to watch. And then you started making out with the ice sculptures. Well, thank God that the children weren't on board to see it. Ah, uh, Carl, why is the lifeboat all red and sticky? Well, I guess you could say it is red and sticky. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? No, I would not believe that. Uh, melted gumdrops. No. Boat nectar. No. Some of God's tears. Tell me the truth, Carl. Fine. It's the lovely elderly couple from 2B. Carl! Well, they were, uh, they were taking all the crescent rolls. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I will not apologize for art. Where are the other lifeboats? Whoa, you won the prize. I didn't even notice that. Where are the other lifeboats, Carl? Looking at the trajectory of the moon and the sun, probably at the bottom of the ocean. I bit lots of holes in them. Carl! I have a problem. I have a serious problem. You are just terrible today. Shh! Do you hear that? That's the sound of forgiveness. That's the sound of people drowning, Carl. That is what forgiveness sounds like. Screaming and then silence. Carl, we're supposed to be on vacation. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You toppled the South American government, Carl. The people have spoken. Viva la resistance. You pushed the resistance leader into a giant fan. He was a traitor and a scoundrel. He was trying to stop you from pushing other people into a giant fan. Oh, that was a foot. I appear to have swallowed an entire person. That would be the hotel bartender. Well, that explains why my mojito is taking so long. It was horrifying. Your mouth unhinged like a snake. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. I can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the wrong. I want to go home. We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with orphan meat. What? what? Well, I'm building a meat dragon, and not just any meat will do. You know what? Forget it. I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, uh, that's no fun. This has become the norm for you, Carl. I'll have to try harder next time. Please don't. I feel like I've been issued a challenge. Carl! It's too late now. You? You? I totally don't remember your name. We've known each other for three years, Carl. And what an impression you've made. My name is Paul. What? I said my name is Paul. Oh. I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. Carl, you've tracked mud all over the carpet. Now that right there is a mess. I just had it clean yesterday, Carl. I'm not responsible for this. I've been jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly your hoof prints, Carl. Then there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one, the imposter is a phantom. Carl, stop avoiding... Happy birthday! It's not... Please tell me you had nothing to do with this. Why don't you blow out your candle? You've gone too far this time, Carl. What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of Melting City. How did you even do this? A dollop of fairy dust. Carl! I ripped the tag off a mattress. This isn't funny, Carl! Who's laughing? Clearly not all the people who just exploded. I'm leaving. I've had enough of this. But think of all the perfectly roasted faces we get to munch on now. But why? Because we're friends, and friendship is two pals munching on a well-cooked face together. That isn't friendship, Carl. That's sick. Well, then you're probably not going to like your birthday decorations. It's not even my... Oh, my God. Surprise! Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you liked faces. Obviously, there's a miscommunication. This is awful, Carl. You're right. It's not nearly as tasteful as I pictured it in my head. I think I'm going to throw... Oh, God, one touched me. This was clearly the wrong way to go. You think, Carl? What can I say? I expected them to be cooked more. Raw face is just gross. But that isn't the problem, Carl. Why would you think any of this was a good idea? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. Oh. I don't understand how you keep forgetting that.